YouTube, what's going on? This is part two of the bag installation on the S2000. I've got a lot of things to do. Off camera, I wrapped the MDF board in the fabric. I'll show you that in a little bit, but a quick update, I've got so much to do. So a couple of days ago, my car started making a funny noise. So I posted it to my mate who owns another S2000 and he told me that it was the timing chain tensioner. Um, the OEM seems to just uh, wear out eventually after like 60,000, 100,000 miles. My car's done 120 and it's just started to, to go. So I thought, I don't want that getting worse. So I ordered the part, I think last week. I didn't expect it to come so soon, but it's over there. Um, I've went for the ballad. I haven't gone OEM, so I've got to fit that at some point. I've just been talking to the guy that's going to spray my front bumper, and we've rearranged it to be done on Saturday, which is in two days. So I've got today and tomorrow to install my bags and somehow try and fit the front bumper and get it ready for the guy on Saturday. So I've just got. I've still got to convert the bags. Um, I've got to wire all the airlines, and oh, I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do the sound editing today. Um, but yeah, there's a lot going on. Uh, I need to plan, I need to organize what I'm gonna do. But uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys the finished um, wrap job on the MDF. And it's down there. This is the complete product. It's not secured on properly, but I just had to wrap it as quick as possible because I gotta get outside and start fitting the bags. Hope you guys stay and watch this video. Fingers crossed the car gets bagged today or tomorrow. Right, off camera, I've had to do a lot of things. The car's all jacked up now. All four wheels are off and I've taken one of the coilovers so far. This is the front. So far, so good. Coil springs there. I'm gonna get the bags and it should be straightforward. You just remove the, the top hat, you remove the spring, the bump stop, the, the cover, everything like that. And remove, I believe, the top, the very top collar, the locking collar, remove that completely and then we'll just wind the, the bag in and that should be it. It's as simple as that. I've been following the videos from only charge stubs and that's what they say to do. So I'm gonna put the camera down and do exactly that. Okay, so now that part's done, I think I've done it right. <laughs> I'm always scared trying new things because you just, you just, you're always doubting yourself, thinking, "Oh, have I done this right? Have I done that right?" But I guess it's in our human nature. That's the first bag conversion done. I removed the spring, the boot, that rubber seal thing, bump stop, that, and that. Like I was following the only charge stub video. It was a little bit different because it's, it tells you to put this rubber ring. Um, and it sits on a ledge sort of thing. My coilover didn't have that ledge, so I've put the O-ring um, sort of near where the video was showing, and I've just, you know, sent it. So that's one done. Obviously, we're gonna do some adjusting. I don't know how this is gonna sit on the car. I've got a, probably, I've got about an inch and a half of travel here until it bottoms out. So we'll leave it as it is put this in the car, but before we do that, we're gonna do the rest of the coilovers and then uh, we'll pick up from there. One 
eternity later. What's going on guys? So as you can tell behind me, the car is now finished. It's all bagged. I've been driving it for about 20 to 30 minutes now. So we're about 20 minutes away from our flat and uh, it drives really nice. It's on coilovers, but it's on bags. So I was really, really intrigued as to how that rides. It drives fine. Um, obviously I need to keep driving it and I'm just, I'm just so worried that something's gonna pop, like the lines are gonna pop out of the fittings. Um, this is my first time ever driving on bags and I'm really, really excited uh, to keep messing around with it. I've still got wheels, so now that I've got my bags on, I can actually go ahead and test fit my new wheels. So make sure to come back to this channel if you guys want to see the test fitting of the new wheels. I'm so hyped. I've got all my camber arms. I've got all the things I need for camber so that I can uh, fit my new wheels. But just looking at it, guys, this has been such a long time. It's been, I've had this car for like two years now and I've, I've always, always wanted to bag it. Um, coilovers are great, but when you're riding so low, if you guys remember from my old videos, I was like half an inch or an inch off the floor static and it was just a pain in the ass. It looked so good, but I just couldn't go over any speed bumps. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't enjoy the car. But now that it's on bags, I can, you know, raise the car up, drive around, lower the car, but for the people who are watching this who have a bagged car, I've got a question. Can you raise the car up whilst driving? I know this might be a stupid question, but can you actually raise the car up at a certain height whilst you're going? Do I need to be at a set speed so that I can mess around with the, um, the bags? But as of right now, I'm really, really happy, guys. I'm gonna turn the camera around again and show you guys the, the boot setup. It's actually a week later since you saw the last clip, so it's been raining, I've been working, so, um, it's finally done that. I'll show you guys the boot setup. I'm really quite proud of it. I knew there wasn't going to be a lot of boot space, but we'll turn the camera around and I'll show you the boot space. So if you lift the boot up, this is the setup. I'll remove this bag. Hang on, I've got my front grill here that I still need to put on. Here it is, guys. There's my compressor all mounted on the board. This is the fabric I went with in the end. The all Japanese. I've got my management, the one. <laughs> The wrong, <laughs> the wrong way around. I want it this way so I, I could hide all the lines, but I couldn't hide these because, so like I said before, I was gonna run it through the little vent hole. So I can live with that. No one else is gonna see this apart from like my mates or people that wanna see my boot build. This is the drain valve. So it's all like messy in the back there, but it looks okay. Give this video a thumbs up guys if you like the boot build. I plan on doing making this maybe neater for when I do like show seasons and stuff but as of right now I'm really happy it's actually uh, mounted with no bolts it's held in by very heavy duty um, sealant so same on this I'm really happy guys I'm gonna put this back and then we'll have a another walk around and I'll show you guys a quick demo like dude look at that fitment Oh, I'm so hyped. Guys, smash the like button. Smash the like button right now if you enjoy the bagged S2K. It's so clean. Excuse me, the car is dirty. I haven't washed it in about a month. But. Oh, it's so good. Right, I'm going to pull my phone out. And then uh, we'll start showing you guys. Okay. Right. So at the moment it's on zero PSI. Oh, my windscreen wipers are moving. Okay, right, so zero PSI. And then if I double tap this button, it should rise. And I think that was set to 100 PSI. See, now it's completely jacked up. Ugly, ugly, ugly. And then if we hit Oh, and then if we hit this button here, it should slam it down. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, 
that's so cool that's so cool you can hear the compressor kicking in the back ideally i want two compressors in the future because it's just annoying having to hear that compressor run all the time but once again guys i'll put the car up well i don't know if that sounds normal so i need i need advice for the people that have bags does that sound normal so when i raise the car up it makes like that noise um, I'm glad I went for the slim bellow on the back and rear because there's not a lot of room where the strut goes so I'm hoping it's not pinched but again we're gonna air out right now for you guys that's so cool so I've had to start the car because it said voltage low I'm hoping that it's because I haven't run the car in ages I hope there's all the electrics are fine I hope nothing's like shorting out um, it shouldn't do because it is working so yeah oh, i'm just so excited so guys make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this one i didn't want to show too much of the build stage because i just wanted to get it over and done with maybe in a future video if you guys want i will show you where i've ran the line so if you've got an s2000 and you're watching this and you want to bag your car um, hit me up i'll give you all the advice that i can give um, I'm, I'm willing to give you guys a hand i've got a couple of mates who, who are bagged and uh, they've helped me in the process but uh I'll show you guys where I ran the lines, If you, you might be able to see it. So down there, uh, you can't see it on this side. Mate, it's so low, it's so low, look, look at this. Ooh. I'm not sure if it's lay in frame, I'm actually going to have a look. No, it's not lay in frame, but if you could see, it's hard to tell, but the, uh, the airline's there and it's going through the splash guard, the arch lining here just running all the way back and um, it's coming off here and into one of the bungs the OEM bungs and it's going straight to the back of the car I can't get enough of it so the Sun's going down now I'm about to take some pictures because it's been a while I mean I'm gonna enjoy the nice weather take some pictures um, so yeah make sure to come back to this channel remember once again if you like this video give this video a massive thumbs up it's really really helpful it helps the channel out a lot i know i can't say that enough and i know you guys will smash it if the video can smash 40 likes that would be amazing i appreciate you guys and i'll catch you on the next one peace